Hello and welcome to the program Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. This episode is about watching the best meteor shower of the year, the Geminid meteor shower from a dark sky site. There's something very special about leaving the city lights behind, letting them fade away, and realizing just how dark the night sky can be. So for this Gemini meteor shower, I'm going to a dark sky site far away from city lights to watch. This is the most reliable meteor shower of the year, as I discussed in my previous video about the three meteor showers that close out the year. Every December, the Earth passes through the debris left over from asteroid 3200 Phaethon. Some people call it a rock comet, and I read recently that scientists believe that unlike other meteor showers where the debris the Earth passes through is from dust from a comet, this meteor shower is actually sodium gas left behind by 3200 Phaethon. One of the biggest advantages of watching a meteor shower from a dark sky site is the added contrast. The darker the sky, the fainter the meteors that you can see. Even a little bit of light pollution can hide most shooting stars. So if it's very dark where you go to watch, you'll see more meteors per hour. This meteor shower has a predicted rate of 120 an hour under ideal conditions. So even though December nights can be <laughs> very cold, it's well worth the effort to find a dark sky site to watch this spectacle. Just be sure to wear layers, gloves, a hat, and bring something warm to drink so you're comfortable since you'll mostly just be still for hours. Or do what I do and walk about to stay warm. You don't need a telescope or binoculars to watch a meteor shower, just your naked eyes. But just be sure to let your eyes fully adapt to the darkness so you'll see more. The best time to watch the Gemini meteor shower is at its peak, but also when the constellation Gemini is high overhead. Gemini will rise around 7 p.m. in mid-December, and so you can watch this meteor shower from about 9 p.m. But the best time and when you'll see the most meteors is from about 2 a.m. until sunrise. The Gemini meteor shower is known for slow moving colorful meteors and some leave glowing trails that hang in the sky for a second or two. The magic of being in a dark sky site is that between the meteors you'll see, you'll also notice everything else. The Milky Way, faint constellations you never saw before, the zodiacal light, things that are not possible to see in cities and light polluted areas. Meteor watching is one of my favorite things about amateur astronomy. Although you might see five meteors in 10 minutes and then none at all for 10 more minutes, Every single meteor feels like a small gift from the heavens above. Sometimes all it takes is one brilliant streak of light to make the whole night unforgettable. And maybe you'll get lucky and see a fireball. I came out here to Laguna Mountain to camp and then in two nights I'll get to see the meteor shower. Good morning. Just finishing up my breakfast here at my campsite at Laguna Mountain. I was the only person here last night. I'm sure some people will show up today because now it's the weekend. I was going to go to Pinnacles, but I think I'll just stay here. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is wonderful. It's going to be clear all weekend long. So the meteor shower is Saturday night. And I think this will be a great spot to get a time lapse. What do y'all think? Hello again. Well, I finished with my deep sky stargazing. And even though the campground filled up, I had a private spot and it was excellent. I thought, oh, look at all these people. 
at this campground to see the meteor shower. No, they all went to bed before midnight. That's when it starts getting good. I've already seen 50 meteors. It's the peak of the Gemini meteor shower. And so after 2 a.m., it gets really good. So I'm expecting to see even more. And what a beautiful, beautiful evening for stargazing and for watching a meteor shower during the day it was 70 degrees even though it's December 13th right now it's only about 50 wonderful evening for stargazing and for watching a meteor shower so I'll check in with you later the Gemini meteor shower put on a scintillating show last night I actually watched it the night before the peak because I got confused on what day it was and I still saw about 50 of them until about 3 a.m. before I realized it was the wrong day. <laughs> and then last night, which was the peak, December 13th, into the wee morning hours of the 14th, I was planning to watch it from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. when Mercury was going to rise. It's a naked eye planet. And after 2 a.m. is the best time to see the meteor shower, but I couldn't stay awake after 3. <laughs> I couldn't keep my eyes open. I kept falling asleep on my blanket. But from about 12.30 to 3 a.m., I saw about 300 meteors and one fireball. Wow! Oh the my conditions God. were superb. The transparency was about 5 out of 7. I took an SQM, and it was 21.45. I saw all the stars in the Little Dipper. I saw a magnitude 6 star. I saw the zodiacal light. I couldn't have asked for a better evening. And even though the campground was full... It was fine, except for that man who turned on his headlights for about 10 minutes. And a huge shout out to two people I met, my neighbors. They were so nice. They came over and said they recognized me from the channel and introduced themselves. If you're watching, hello, Clara and Travis. And thank you, Travis, for asking that man to turn off his headlights. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope to run into y'all again and we can stargaze together. But in case you missed it, I will show you my time lapses that I made of the Gemini meteor shower. It's a poor substitute, but <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. There won't be another meteor shower until the Quadrantids in January, so enjoy. that i'll see y'all soon dark skies forever sula signing off